Hi, I'm Dan Hernandez. I'd like to welcome you to this week's episode of Sport Fishing. Well, today we're fishing aboard the True Line. We've never filmed on this boat before, so I'm really looking forward to it. We left out of San Pedro at 22nd Street Landing about two hours ago, and right now we're right in front of San Pedro, Long Beach area. We'll be looking for barracuda, calico bass, maybe a sand bass or two, and later on we might go offshore a little bit to go look for some sculpin in that deeper water. So stay tuned for this week's exciting episode of Sport Fishing. I'm Dan Hernandez and I live to fish. All right. <laughs> I have been fishing along the Pacific coast my entire life. Oh. Let me bring you in in the action and share with you some great fishing tips along the way. Fishing with Dan Hernandez. The true line. Gotta get Dan his props. <laughs> all the cameras on, all the cameras. Yeah. <laughs> Just short. Up and over. Yeah, buddy. <laughs> Sandy. Short. Yeah, Getting a little bit bigger. Yeah, there you go. Oh, no, a little bigger. Number two. Yeah. Cool. Hi, anchovies. <laughs> How'd you get that? Double bucktail fish right here. This one's a little short, this one's legal. But still lots of fun. Yeah. 
They may have a fish stretcher. <laughs> fishing with Dan Hernandez on the tour. Great fishing. Here's a little guy. The little guys are the most dangerous. They're the most feisty. The California scorpion fish. Each and every one of these spines here is poisonous. The two on the bottom. And then the ones right here. The ones on the head, those ones are all good. All right here, here, and there. Whenever you come out fishing, do not be afraid to ask the deckhand take one of these off for you. I've seen them uh, make grown men cry. Put you down for the entire day. What's up? How's it going? Nope. My double hook up. Oh, oh. Not a B-52 bucktail. B-52s, man. As seen on TV, Dan Hernandez. Go get me some mission tortillas and guess what? Bam. Calico bass. Fishing with Dan Hernandez. Finally. Finally got bit here. It's been a while since we've been able to fish with anchovies. We've got anchovies today, so I'm using anchovy. Got a little bass. So we've got this calico bass on an anchovy, just fly lining it. And like I said, it's been years since the bait boats have been catching anchovies in the area. So nice little fish here. All right, let's take a little break from the action here aboard the True Line and go to the tackle box and give you a good look at the gear you need for this type of fishing. This week in the tackle box, I'm gonna to talk to you about what we're doing today. Fishing aboard the True Line, staying local, fishing along the beach here. And we're looking for both calico bass, sand bass, and you know, there's always barracuda, maybe yellowtail and sculpin too. So because of that, you need to bring a wide selection of tackle with you. Pretty basic gear as far as rods and reels. A 400 size reel works out great with 25 pound mono. And then you can put fluorocarbon on top of that. And behind this, I have 50 pound spectra. So that way I have plenty of line on my reel. And this is perfect for fishing here in Southern California. Again, go with the medium action rod, works out fine. And with this, you could fish artificials, live bait, and it's perfect for this type of fishing. Now another rod and reel I like to bring with me is the same size reel, but a reel with just all spectra. And it's filled with 50 pound spectra. And I use this one when I'm sculpin fishing or just fishing on the bottom for rockfish. This works out great. So if you're gonna bring two rods and reels, this is what I would do. And with all the spectra on here, if you needed to switch lines, you could just put a small leader on there and you could drop down to 20, 15, Whatever you need to do, maybe go up to 40, you'd be prepared for that. Now, as far as artificials, 
for the sculpin and the bass, I really like to use the B52 Bucktails. One ounce model works out really good, two of them together in a dropper loop rig for the rockfish. And you can use a single one by itself for both the calicos and the sand bass. For the yellowtail, Bonita, I like to use a magic metal jig, four and a half ounce, cast it out swimming back and the fish will chase it down. Works really, really good. And for the barracuda and also the calico bass, when they're up on the surface, what I like to use is a magic metal light. They come in two different sizes, the MM7 and the MM5, and they both work really good. They swim right up on the surface, nice and slow. Drive the barracuda crazy. Barracuda eat these really good. I like the smaller one. You get a little bit more action out of it, I think. And the rattles in them, in both of them, really attract the fish too. It's the Magic Metal Lights. Find them at your local taco store or online too. Now, one other tool you should always have with you is a boomerang tool. I really like this for cutting my lines. I keep one attached to my tackle box all the time. This is the greatest tool for cutting spectra. Works out really nice. You should all have it. And uh, it's just one of the tools that I can't live without when I'm out fishing. Well, this is the basic gear you need. Let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. <laughs> Calico bass, fishing with the internet. <laughs> you said I have a goblin so I know the I know the inches, I don't know what the look is. Fifteen pound test? Fifteen pound. Yeah. You can cut it off, I just need to tie There's no digging get out of there. Made another move. I just got bit on a squid. I think I got a bass. Oh, I got a legal. Talk to the legal. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Dan. Right when the boat started. Whew. Thank you very much, Dan. Appreciate the trip. Number seven. Fishing with Dad. Another good trip. That's a roll. Barracuda. Still a ways to go. 
So now we're in a different area. We found, we found the, a bigger school of barracuda. So hopefully these are the right kind. Here comes color. This one's close. I'll bounce them. There he is. I think I'll bounce them. There he goes. You should have gaffed should've him. Gaffed him. <laughs> All right, well, that was a legal barracuda. I tried to bounce it and uh, line broke on me. Let's take a little break from the action and go to the galley and show you how to cook up one of these delicious fish we're catching today. This week in the galley, I want to cook you up a rockfish. And this isn't just any rockfish dish. This is my basic go-to dish anytime I just want to eat a piece of fish after a fishing trip. Maybe I come back with a sculpin or a rockfish calico bass, nice easy dish to make. And what's sweet about rockfish, you can do anything with it. You can deep fry it, or you can bake it, or you can even pan fry it like I'm gonna do right now. So I have my rockfish, it's already been trimmed. The ribs are off it, all the skin's off it. So what I wanna do now is season it. So I'm gonna put some salt on it. I'm gonna put some tahini on it, and flip it over, and you wanna do both sides. You wanna season both sides, and some black pepper. Okay, so I have my pan right over here. It already has olive oil in it. So I'm just gonna add some butter. And just let that cook. And the olive oil will keep the butter from burning. Let's take my rockfish, put it right there. Now one of the common mistakes people make is they flip the fish over too many times. So I'm just gonna move it around, make sure it's getting nice and cooked. It looks really good there. So at this point, what I like to do is add some vegetables. So I have some bell peppers, some red, and some yellow bell peppers, and some onions. Just a couple of thin slices. And you can see I'm using different colors of bell peppers, just because I like to add the color to the dish. Just flip it over. The bell peppers aren't gonna take very long to cook. And luckily this fish isn't gonna take very long either. I'll just flip it over. You can see how it's already nice and colored. It's beautiful. Just let that cook for a few more minutes. And the fish will pretty much tell you when it's cooked, it'll start to separate nice and easily. Yeah, this looks really good. And I'm gonna put the fish on a bed of brown rice. I like to use brown rice a lot. So I'll just put that right on there. That's it. Now this is a little wasabi sauce I like to make. It's wasabi paste. A little bit of soy sauce, some mayonnaise. It's a real simple thing to make. One day I'll show you guys how to make it. I just kind of drip it across here. A little piece of white rockfish, a little piece of rice. That is delicious. Really simple dish to make, real nice and easy. Again, with rockfish, there's so many things you can do with it, but some like this, a little pan fry, just takes a few minutes. Vegetables, brown rice, it's really good. Well, let's get back on the water and show you more exciting action right here on Sport Fishing. A little short. There he is, right there. There's my barracuda. It's a little short. We just made another move. Oh, we got him going all over. There's a nice one. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just got bit on a jig, magic metal light. Captain's repositioning the boats. So I gotta try to get this in while the boat's moving. Let's see how I can do that. 
Here he comes right here. Color. There we go. Finally, illegal Barracuda. Nice Barracuda. Got that on a magic metal white jig and just working it right on the surface. All right, let's take a little break from the action. And when we return, I'll be giving you this week's tip of the week. For this week's tip of the week, I'm gonna to talk to you a little bit about what we did today. You know, we caught all those scope and it was really easy to catch them. You guys were catching them on cut squid. I used B-52 bucktails and a dropper loop rig. Two B-52 bucktails and a double dropper loop rig is how I caught my limit of fish. It was really easy. Now for the Barracuda, most of them came on live bait. I was just having trouble using live bait. I was getting short fit a lot, so I switched it up. I went to a Magic Metal Light Jig, and that's what I was throwing here, and that really worked out good for me. An MM5 worked slowly on the surface. Fish came up, devoured it. I was able to get a couple of nice Barracuda. Well, I want to thank the skipper of the True Line, the whole crew. The guys did a great job. We had a great time fishing with them. I'm Dan Hernandez, hoping you enjoyed this week's episode of Sport Fishing. And I hope you join us again next week as we go looking for more of the best in sport fishing.